<laughs> I don't even know. I don't vlog often, so I don't even know what I'm doing, but here I am. It's me, Jana, and today is day one of D23 2022. I got here pretty late last night. It was like nine here when I landed, which is midnight my time. And then I had to like settle in and get to the hotel and all of that, so I really didn't get to sleep until 11.30ish, I guess, which would be... 12, 1, 2, 2 my time, I think. But I'm excited. This is my first D23 and I've wanted to go since the beginning, since I was a little tot and it's finally here. I'm a little nervous, um, definitely having some anxiety because I have a metaphobia and a, a ton of COVID anxiety and this is definitely the biggest thing that I've done. I've been extremely, extremely cautious. So it is a bit scary, but I'm also excited. Uh, I just wanna show you the view from my room. I don't think it's that exciting. <laughs> Here it is! But I mean it has palm trees and you can see the convention center so that's nice. It is supposed to rain today which like is this Florida? Because I thought this was California. I think I'm going to head down to Starbucks and get food because I am so so deeply hungry it's not even funny. So hopefully they have something that I like. I'm new to vlogging so bear with me if I sound unnatural or anything it's because I need to get in the swing of things. I really haven't vlogged since, I don't know, like 2018 maybe? Is that true? That might be true. We'll see what happens. I have my badge and I'm ready to go. Oh, outfit of the day. That's a thing people do. Let me do that. Outfit of the day. We're going for a snow white look and I just steamed this, but anytime I like sit down, it does this. So <laughs> that's what we're working with. But I have the poison apple and like a good apple, some heart stud earrings they don't really have anything to do with snow white and this linen dress and i'm really excited oh and i got new all birds because i'm fancy <laughs> tomorrow i'm doing my first ever cosplay though so look out for that i have acquired a pastry i'm so happy because i hate cinnamon rolls with icing and this doesn't have icing it's a miracle that never happens usually i have to like scrape it off so i'm very excited and look over there I don't know if you saw that, <laughs> but it's D23. I just want to document that they were just playing Coldplay, which is one of my favorite bands. So cinnamon rolls, no icing, and Coldplay, off to a great start. Finally, we waited outside for like over an hour, but I made it to the music emporium and I'm trying to get the signed Hercules Susan Egan vinyl. Wish me luck. <laughs> but it's so cool in here already. I just ran straight here, so I haven't looked a lot. But the Pizza Planet truck, Pixar, Wonderful World of Dreams, and Music Emporium. WandaVision. Mission accomplished. Now I'm gonna head outside and have some water because I am dying. And there's so much to see in here that it's honestly super overwhelming. Like everywhere you look, there's stuff. <laughs> and I just need to reset my brain, I think, a little bit. But good news, I got the Hercules vinyl, which was the main goal of the day. So off to a good start. We are taking a break outside. We got water. Um, I got the WandaVision and Kanto and Hercules signed by <laughs> This whole vlog is just gonna be me forgetting what words are because it's so chaotic. But I think what I'm gonna do next is go to Journey into Storytelling because they have an Abbott Elementary and an Only Murders in the Building exhibit thing. So I'm really excited to see what that's about. It's just so overwhelming. <laughs> in a good way like I don't feel anxious but I my brain doesn't know where to go or what to do we're getting in line for this photo opportunity immediately I just stumbled upon this this is so cool oh my gosh tell me I'm emotional this reminds me of Ms. Marvel, like the Avengers Con thing. 
something that should be real. But for now, I'll take this. I was right. It's AvengerCon. That is so cool. The Hulk fist that you just saw me with was actually from the Ms. Mo I full on gasped. I didn't know that there would be Marvel costumes around the corner. As I was saying, it's actually from the Ms. Marvel set, which was the coolest thing ever. But look at these. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking out. Hold on. So we have Moon Knight. Oh my gosh. Are you telling me Oscar Isaac has touched that fabric? This is amazing. America Chavez. Oh my god, Ms. Marvel. Oh my gosh. I haven't seen Thor Love and Thunder yet. It came out while I was on my way here, but I'm basking in the glory that is those costumes. I can't believe I'm seeing this. Oh my gosh. If you can't tell, I'm losing my mind. Oh my god, Agatha, no way! Oh my god, I'm obsessed with the WandaVision costume, especially Wanda's. The detail in it is just everything. Oh my god. I think I'm gonna cry! This is a perfect representation of my brain at all times. Marvel? Lucasfilm, Disney on Broadway. <laughs> Every corner, there's something super exciting happening. Please tell me that that is Obi-Wan's costume. It's not, right? Is it? I don't know. But if it is, I'm very happy. Oh my gosh, Willow, Indiana Jones, which I finally watched right before coming here. <laughs> This is so much to take in. Journey into storytelling. That is where I'm trying to get to. Disney on Broadway, that looks cool. Oh my God, it's a VR experience. People look like they're being possessed. Okay. Oh look, ESPN, something I know nothing about. Oh, Journey into storytelling. We've made it. Now I need to find Abbott and only murders in the building. All right, man, you, I can't do this. I, I just don't like pizza. What? Say that again. I don't think I heard you, son. I've got like four or five things that I actually like, and I just stick to those. Do you like pie? Fruit should not be hot. I have to meet up with my personal health care companion for a minute. I'll be right with you. I wanted to get the gold member exclusive poster, but the line was so long and I really want to make it to the hamster and Gretel meet and greet so I'm just heading straight there. It's just so much to take in. Everywhere you look there's something exciting that's in line with my passion and it's like I hope I can do everything but I know that doing everything is impossible. <laughs> so let's see if we can get into hamster and Gretel. Oh my god it's Victor and Thomas and Dan. I'm just freaking out slightly. Hi everybody! I'm vlogging! Hi! I have to say, Dan, I love you. I love, love Victor. Thomas, you're the best. And all of you too. There you go. Thank you. Yay! Hello! I just met the guests. How was it? It Tell was awesome. 
Uh, I got to reintroduce myself to Brock. I think he remembered me from He five did! Years ago. He totally did. And I got to tell them that I was Melissa five years ago. And yeah, it was super fun. Yes! Was super nice. We, we got time close to it. I know, look I at that. That was gonna happen. Oh my god, that was too much. Yay! I don't know what I got on here because I'm not used to vlogging, so if you didn't see anybody, just know. I got a little video for you, so I can send that to you. Bless you! you. This is my friend. Hi. Introduce yourself to the people. I'm Amanda. You may have seen me in the D commentary Live and Maddie video. Bam what? Uh, I'm so happy to be here and uh, this is my fifth expo and we're gonna have an awesome time. Yes. Now we're just waiting for other people. Yes. I look great. <laughs> I'm so beat. I can't even move and it's 1220. <laughs> But I went to the D23 Expo Marketplace and it was so overwhelming. There was so much stuff. But I ended up with five things, which even then seemed a bit expensive, excessive, excessive. I'm so tired. Oh, I just need, I can't move. Like I need to eat food, but I cannot move. So I guess I live in this chair now at the hotel. But then at 2.15, I'm going to be going to the big Disney animation Pixar panel because it's a funny story. A friend that I knew in middle school and high school is actually here and I haven't seen her in like, oh my gosh, I don't even know, almost 10 years maybe? But she had a plus one to it and so now I'm going to be going to that, which is really cool. But oh my gosh, am I tired. I'm so tired and it's only not even like the first day or the first half of the first day. This whole vlog is just gonna be me being like, what are words? What are words? I feel like I should show what I got. Um, so you know I got the Disney Music Emporium stuff. We've got, oh, Encanto. It's green and it has all of the songs. Hercules, signed by Susan Egan. And WandaVision. It's red. I got this, let's do this in the mirror. This Star Wars spirit jersey, which is really fun and colorful. I got this six, oh, 60th anniversary Spider-Man color block tee. It has the cool like 60th emblem focus. I thought that was fun. I got this Snow White bag because I just fell in love with it immediately. I thought it was so nice. I don't even know like if it's a crossbody or what it is. I'm just in love with the design. And I got this denim jacket. Just a cool design. I'm not even really sure like what the theming is. I think it's all of the different castles around the world. Not sure. Just thought it was cool. And they had the Duffy and Friends animals which I've always wanted and always been interested in. But I didn't want to get one of the huge ones. So I got this little tiny keychain. I forget her name. Lily Bell? Lily Bell? What is her name? Oh, Lena Bell. Lena Bell. I thought she was so cute. Okay, we're back. I have, it's 1.45ish and I have until 2.15 to meet my friend for the Disney Pixar panel. I don't know if I'm gonna go like back into the madness that is the show floor, <laughs> or if I'm just gonna leisurely walk toward where I need to be. But it's so cool seeing everybody's cosplays and outfits, especially with that fountain. Oh, Peter Pan and Wendy. It's me with the Pizza Planet truck. try to go into the Pixar Studios Pavilion just for a few minutes. Oh look, it's May. Oh my gosh, she looks so soft and fluffy. All right, let's see what's inside. I think I'm gonna learn about these at the panel. <laughs> Elemental. Oh, it's so much more colorful in person. Oh, you can kind of see it. Light year over there. Cars on the road. Okay, I'm not really sure what I'm doing. This is cool. Cool area. 
hands and wear a mask. And each of these show us what we cool. demonstrating how to do these things for everyone who they have not the They have a little Encanto set up here. Ooh. Oh, it's got a little Encanto set up. real food since over 24 hours ago so bear with me <laughs> but um the Disney live-action animation Pixar presentation was absolutely mind-blowingly incredible I, I honestly can't even remember everything that I saw because it was just like exciting surprise after exciting surprise I mean it opened with Cynthia Erivo performing when you wish upon a star and I had Hills. I showed my friend my arm and I was like, look at this, this is amazing. So, like, I don't know how she does that with her voice. And then, um, I don't know if this is in the right order, but then the entire cast of Disenchanted came out, including Amy Adams, who was just absolutely hilarious on stage. I could not believe, and Idina Menzel, oh my gosh, I just couldn't even process. And then it just kept going, but then... Rachel Zegler came out on stage and I truly just where what are words like I love her so much she is like one of my favorite actresses and I just have wanted to see her in person for a really long time and never ever thought that I would um, I made a joke on social media that the closest I would ever get to meeting her was seeing her West Side Story costume in Walt Disney World so when she came out I lost my mind I fully lost it. I was like, oh my god. I was screaming like it was like a big concert. I don't know. I was so excited. And that was really cool. Um, Jamie Lee Curtis came out after they showed us the Haunted Mansion trailer. And she came out in a Doom buggy. And it was absolutely iconic in every way. We didn't know who it was. The Doom buggy came out so that you couldn't see who was in it. And then it, she was revealed. And she didn't say a word, but she said so much in her face. <laughs> That's real acting talent. Halle Bailey as Ariel in The Little Mermaid is a sight to behold and we are so lucky. We are truly so lucky. They showed us the entirety of Part of Your World. The whole thing. And I cried. I had actual tears. Like I wasn't sobbing but there were definite tears forming and I felt very emotional watching it. It was just really, really beautiful in the way that she saying it was really great and I'm excited for everybody to be able to see it. It was so good. I thought that Elemental looked really cool. The animation style is so different and like the way that the fire person moves. I forget her name already. I'm so tired <laughs> but it looked really cool. Um, I thought Jake Gyllenhaal was funny when he came out. He was just playing with the crowd a little bit. He was pretty funny. And then they had Ariana DeBose come out and close out the presentation singing a new song from Wish, which she is playing the title character of. Well, it's not the title character. Her name's not Wish. It starts with an A. But, oh wow, the way that she sings, the way that she commands the stage, the way that she performs is just beyond words. And I couldn't believe that I was in the presence of such a legend. <laughs> Truly. Oh, there were so many people. I feel like I'm definitely missing, like big names it was just so much to process and i was sitting there in shock the entire time and then i went to the here for the laughs panel which ended up being all women which was really cool i didn't know that that was going to be a thing they were so inspiring honestly every single one of them some of them i didn't know i only knew two people out of it um the woman that plays beverly goldberg on the goldbergs and the woman that plays 
the redhead teacher on Abbott Elementary. It was just such a joy to be introduced to these other three women who I didn't know beforehand. And they were funny and they were inspiring and they were passionate and it was just a really great panel. So I feel lucky that I got that as one of my reservations. And now, I stopped abruptly because pizza, food, glorious food, actual real food. I'll get back to you in a second. I can't remember where I left off <laughs> talking to you guys, but um, the pizza that I just had <laughs> was so good. You know on Survivor, they'll be like, we're gonna give you guys Applebee's and people will cry and lose their minds. That was me eating that pizza. It was really a blessing. I think I was just saying about how inspiring the women were at the Here for the Laughs panel. And I'm just excited for tomorrow, which I think will be a separate vlog. Even though I feel like I didn't film enough today to make an actual vlog. It's just, there's so much going on. It's just everywhere you look, there's like content and excitement and people and things to see. <laughs> so it's hard sometimes to remember to pick up the camera. But I think tomorrow I will do a better job. I say that now and then tomorrow I'm going to film one clip. But hopefully I have stuff to put together. Anyway, uh, tomorrow will be day two and also Oogie Boogie Bash, which I think I'll break up into two different videos. But I'm really excited and I hope things continue to go well and that I stay safe from COVID. <laughs> That's all. Bye.